And again, press in spacebar if I start uh, writing, for example, um, sphere. I have here add UV sphere equals sphere. I'm going to choose UV sphere. So I have a sphere over there. If I press one of these handles here, I can move the object inside uh, that axis. For example, here the green one represents the um, Y axis. If I press the red one, I'm going to work only with the X axis. If I press the blue one, I'm going to work only with the Z axis. Okay? So to create 3D objects uh, or particles or bones, I can use this spacebar to call the function or to call the creation uh, of, uh, module. Okay? But to work with 2D, it's the same. For example, I am here in the, uh, uh, in the 3D ambience. I'm going to delete the, the sphere. And now I'm going to import a 2D image here. But to do this, we need to set up Blender for this. Okay, so if you if you want to do it with me, we are going to do it now. We go to File. That's very important step here right now. We go to User Preferences. So let's do it together if you want. And inside user preferences I have add-ons okay I need here to enable an add-on call, called image as planes uh, when I start uh, typing image automatically I, I have uh, the image uh, import image as planes here on the search results mine is already check it so I can import image as planes that's how we can import 2d image inside blender so I need to enable this add-on it comes with uh, blender so we just need to enable it okay so enable um, this uh, add-on and we can import to the image uh, now we are going to system just to enable the um, I'm sorry let me see if it's on system or it's so automatic oh, okay it's on input uh, on the input tab we have enable numpads what it means when we use a notebook for example we need to enable to check this emulate numpad to use the numeric keyboard with the notebook to, to the camera's shortcuts so just check it here okay and uh, on add-ons enable import images as blend as planes later when you start to, to dig blender you are going to discover that we have many add-ons including uh, a nice one that exports the the blender scene for after effects for example i had to work with some friends that work with after effects so i can i can work with 2d animations here with motion graphics here and i export the project to after effects so they can work there too that's a, a, a very nice add-on so uh, I enable it, okay, I enable all add-ons that I want to use and here on the bottom of this screen I check save user settings. Doing this I never need to do to enable the add-ons and go to the input and check the emulate numpads again. So after doing all of your changes you just go here in the bottom of the screen and save user settings, okay. So doing this, I close this window and now I can import 2D images inside the Blender. That's what I'm going to do right now, okay? So, file, import, now I have here images as planes. 
I can import 2D images inside Blender. Okay, so I'm going to check this images as planes. I'm going to travel uh, to one of my folders here. I have some works. I'm going to open a soccer player image because I, I, I did uh, an animation for his Facebook and um, okay so I have the soccer player here the file remembering PNG files ping files or whatever you like to call it uh, keep alpha channels aren't aren't PNGs vector images instead of bitmaps yes you can yeah. import SVG uh, vector images okay SVG are made with Inkscape but uh, can be imported with uh, Illustrator or Corridor and the difference between a vector image and a bitmap is bitmaps are pixelated whereas PNGs yes. are straight lines right uh, yeah, uh, vector images are, are, are... Yeah, but I'm talking about the format, like, like, or the image up close. Up close, a bitmap or a JPEG or anything like that has pixelation, so it's... Yes, yes, yes. Blocks of color, whereas a vector yes. image is straight lines, am I correct? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. The vector images are a uh, mathematical calculation at real time, okay? Right, okay, cool. Uh, so, Blender reports SVG images. For, for example, uh, when I did that um, uh, effect of uh, the HUD effects for that uh, animation I, I showed you last time, I, I did the uh, vector art inside of Inkscape. I saved it as SVG and I imported inside Blender for that special effect. So now I'm going to import a PNG image, but I need to tell Blender that I want the alpha channel. So I need to check, use the alpha here, okay? And in this case, I don't want the lights and shadows to work over the 2D image. So I'm going to check shadeless. This shadeless material is a kind of material that do not receive shadows or lights. In this case, I'm going to use it, okay? And I'm going to check the Z transparency for better calculation of transparencies, okay? Import the image. Uh, if you uh, notice here, we have uh, a gray plane here. Why do we have a gray plane and not the 2D image? That's why, uh, uh, that's because Blender, when we import a 2D image, it imports it as a texture inside the plane, inside a 3D object. That makes sense. Actually. Yes. So, uh, I need to tell to the viewport that I want to view this 2D image. So, over here, over the viewport screen, we have the methods of displaying things. So here we have a solid object. I need to change it for texture. So I'm going to, to see the object. But uh, the camera is not uh, uh, helping me right now. Understand that when I import 2D images inside Blender, it's like to, to, uh, to put an image over a table. If you take a look with the zoom here, you, you are going to see that we have a picture. I'm going to I'm going back to the solid. Uh, we have an uh, object over uh, a plane over a table. Okay, this grid here represents the the, the 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 floor of the 3D screen of the 3D world. Okay, so when I import any 2D image, it will be like throwing a picture over a table over the floor. So how to yes how to solve this I need to put the camera to the top view I can use the shortcut pressing 7 on keyboard or I can go here to the view menu uh, at the bottom of the viewport screen and I go to the top view 
That's cool. Okay. So how can I uh, bring my camera to the top view? The top view is just for us, not what's going to be handled. If I press the shortcut for handling, the F12 key, I'm going to handle uh, from the camera. And that's not what I want right now. I want to bring the camera to my view. For example, if I, if I press the middle button mouse and I move the mouse, I can move the, the, the viewport. I can move my screen, my working area. And how to bring the camera to this view? I need to use a shortcut. That is Ctrl, Alt, and Zero. If I press these three keys at the same time, I bring the camera to my viewport position, okay? For example, I'm going to move it again uh, to, a, to a view that I like, for example. I'm, uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm working here right now with the um, uh, di directional photography, for example, for a movie or for an animation. And I like this composition, let's say. I want to bring the camera to this composition of objects on the screen. So I press Ctrl, Alt, Zero, and I have the camera uh, showing exactly what I was viewing from the viewport. Okay, so to work with 2D images, what I do, what Ricardo, what, what, what I do for working better. I know that all the images that I import are like pictures throw or left over, over the floor, over the table. So I go to the view, top, and I press Ctrl, zero here. So now my 2D images will be always to the front of the camera, okay? I'm going now to change the view to the texture view, and I see the, 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 soccer, the soccer player here, okay? Kareem what? mute Leon, why does he keep... Thank you. Go ahead, Ricardo. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's learn some shortcuts here for manipulating objects. Uh, but before that, let's understand how we can work with those handles, okay? If I press over uh, this, this red arrow handle, I can move over the X axis, over this uh, green arrow, I move to the Y axis. But I can use a shortcut for that, as I can use a shortcut for rotating and for scaling those objects, any object, a camera, a light, a uh, 2D object, a 3D object, a move inside of 3D area, doesn't matter. The shortcuts are the same for any kind of object, 2D, 3D, particles, uh, bones, okay? But over the, the, the bottom of the screen, I can see, for example, here, the manipulator of transformation, rotation, and size, okay? So, if you look here, when I press the uh, the transformation manipulator, I change it over the screen. For example, if I want to change the size of the object over the X axis, I just press here and I, I drag here. So I change the size of the image, okay? Uh, only on the X axis. Ctrl Z will bring the, the image to the, to the uh, uh, rest pose, okay? Uh, if I press the green one, I'm going to change the size of the image in the Y axis. Pressing Ctrl Z, I, I, I bring the, the image to, to the start position. So, uh, I can rotate the same way. I press the rotation transformation manipulator over here at the bottom of the viewport and I can rotate the image